Hi friends and welcome back or rather I should say welcome back to myself to the YouTube world you know um, so today's video is going to be a review if you follow me on Instagram then you know that I started using uh, you know the much talked about hair oil from Kama Ayurveda and uh, you know my experience has been good so far but I just wanted to do a um, you know a proper review on the oil uh, of course oiling has been you know our thing Indians do a lot of oiling but West has also adopted it now and and they they are you know realizing the benefits of oiling your hair and how naturally you know it can give you that kind of conditioning and you don't have to use any other products so yeah it's good uh, this is what I bought this, uh, you know, 250 ml bottle of Kama uh, Ayurveda's uh, Bringadi Intensive Hair Treatment. So they call it as a treatment and it looks like this. The bottle is pretty normal, standard, uh, the way Ayurvedic, you know, um, things are the packaging is and which I feel is very okay you know why do you need all that jing bang on a bottle and I like simple packaging you know uh, and the promise was good and the when a particular brand or a particular product works then even more you know you want simpler packagings basically so it's got it's the bottle looks like this so this is what it is Kama Ayurveda's Bringadi hair int intensive hair treatment prescribed in Ayurveda for lush hair growth and to prevent hair loss, dandruff and premature graying, naturally conditioning and it's 100% natural made in India. Uh, I'll start with things that I love about it and then we'll move on to something that I don't like, a few things rather. Okay, so uh, you know, um, they say that you have to gently massage it and how I do it I'll do another video on how I uh, try to cover my entire scalp with oil and how one should oil you know I have a different uh, method to do it so I'll be doing a separate video on that so if you really want to see that how uh, one can cover and easily without you know too much of mess cover the entire scalp then uh, stay tuned for my next video so okay enough of marketing and advertising uh, the the oil uh, really lives up to its promise um, it does you know in after the after the first wash only you can see the difference in the hair tracks texture and of course I wouldn't say hair loss that much but yes to a degree it does for me um, because I had recent you know certain health issues and and uh, I've, I've been under surgery and all that so so I, I lost a lot of hair and hence the you know hair cut um, but um, also where I live the water is not that great and uh, guys if any one of know, you knows how to really uh, treat the water naturally you know any the hard water that comes from boring or, or from the you know outside water that any society sort of uh, ha um, purchases so please let me know in the comment section I would be like ever grateful to you guys because uh, you know after shifting we shifted to this particular place and the water is so bad that I'm almost like going crazy I am petrified to wash my hair you know like that so I, I just uh, keep it in a different hairstyles I'll give myself to prolong my you know washing uh, time so okay I blabber too much right okay coming back to the product it does live you know up to the expectation where it does leave your hair very soft and you have to just you know use a little uh, a little goes a long way and you have to just you know um, put it around your scalp and automatically I think the hair gets very this thing I mean uh, get drenched um, in it and and it's really nice that way after the first wash they say use it mild shampoo so I use uh, you know a mild shampoo any shampoo rather but I've been using this very nice shampoo from Patanjali and I'll do a review on that too and uh, I could see the difference in my first wash and hence I, I, I was clicking my pictures I was having good hair day and uh, you know I was in Delhi and winters 
I mean, somehow winter suit me. Uh, I'm a winter baby, so uh, anyway, you know, it does suit me. And uh, the oil says that you know it's a 250 ml bottle. It's little expensive, but but I would say that it's worth investing in. And um, also, they say that which go goes in the cons, you know, that uh, you have to apply it for an hour and wash it off. So um, and we have a habit. I don't know about you, but I have a habit that you know putting it and doing keeping it overnight and then washing it the next day. So it gives a better result. I don't know it was somewhere in our head, but they suggest karma and whether they suggest that you know put it for an hour and it is okay in and it is you know a perfect time for us to wash it off after an hour. But I don't know. I kept it for a night also. That's that's a number one con for me that. Uh, at times when you put oil you know you want it to stay in your hair somehow psychologically it works that maybe it will do some good to our hair if we keep it for longer you know i understand going out and dust will uh, get stuck to your hair and um once you're sleeping then you know hair become very fragile and soft and they can break off easily but anyway your hair break and i don't know i, I just feel that it's as good and if you are you know buying an expensive treatment for your hair might as well keep it for a longer time but i never keep it for an hour i keep it always for like 3 to 4 hours and then i wash it off because it's a 100% natural ayurvedic treatment so what wrong can it have do you know to your hair and really helps i have done it like after uh, put applying it and 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 keeping it for an hour and keeping it uh, for 4 hours so 4 hours works best for me So that's how the, you know it's 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 really nice, and it says that uh, yeah they they say leave leave it on for thirty minutes, uh, cleanse post treatment with Kama shampoo or with mild shampoo, and it goes it has got a lot of uh, somebody knock no. <laughs> So it's got a lot of uh, you know uh, different herbs that really help your hair uh, uh, last long. Another very big con for me is the smell. It smells a little bad. It smells like any Ayurvedic hair oil would do would would smell. But I mean, at times <laughs> it's just too overwhelming for me. Then I'm like, oh my God, might as well wash. You know, <coughs> maybe that is why they suggest to wash it off in an hour's time. I don't know, but but it really works. and uh, i have come up with a ma- idea of a mask let me try it first then i'll share it with you guys uh using this oil or any other oil for that matter that will give you nice uh, you know soft hair uh so uh, yeah and and for me it is definitely a thumbs up one should really buy and and try cuz um it is it is a good good uh, treatment you know better than those masks and the chemicals and everything because uh, your hair gets used to of all those things and this is something which people have been using for years for ages our grandmoms have been oiling their hair for forever you know so we must not get um alien from our own concepts that our you know ancestors have been using and doing for years and then we wait for people from abroad to tell us that no oiling is good and the mask is good or the henna is good do not you know try to um try to embrace the your our own culture and heritage and that's what i love to do even in food or clothing or hair everything i want a nice balance you know of west and the east so the best of both um is what i strive for so i'm sure that you know you found this uh, review small review helpful and uh, i will try and do uh, f- videos frequently and thank you so much guys for subscribing and if you've not and watching this video and found it useful please do subscribe to my channel i really 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 could do with some it's not some a lot of love <laughs> and yeah until next time see you take care